Chapter 5. In this chapter we will learn about Microsoft Word. Word is a powerful program that it is very easy to use. That's why many businessmen have adopted it. Let's learn a little about the buttons and icons. Discovering the Word screen. Number 1. Title Bar. It is a bar displayed at the top of the document that displays the name of the current document. Number 2. Menu Bar. It is a grouping of all available features in the Microsoft Word program. Number 3. Standard Toolbar. It is located below menu bar provides quick access towards most frequently used commands and utilities. Number 4. Mouse Pointer. It is a pointer which will change as it moves to different locations on the screen. Number 5. Formatting Toolbar. It lets you take care of most of your formatting needs without having to open a dialog box. Here you can assign fonts, sizes, bold, italic and paragraph settings. Number 6. Ruler. Ruler shows margins and tab settings for the selected paragraphs. You can drag icon, margins and tabs to change these settings directly. Number 7. Document screen. It is the white area of the screen where the text appears. Number 8. Insertion point. It is the vertical blinking line in the document screen that indicates where the text will appear when you begin typing. Number 9. Scroll bar. There are horizontal and vertical bars on the bottom and right side of the screen that allow you to see more of a document. Number 10. Status Bar. It is a bar at the bottom of the screen indicating document information such as the current page or the location of the insertion point. Click the pointer on View, then Toolbars, and then click on any unchecked toolbar to turn on the display of that toolbar. Entering Text. Have you noticed the flashing vertical bar on your screen? It is the place where text will appear when you type. There is no need to press the Enter key at the end of a line while typing. The program automatically moves down or wrap to the next line for you. This feature is called Word Wrap. You press the Enter key whenever you want to start a new paragraph. Type a small amount of text, such as today's date. The text will display on the screen. Press the Enter key. The insertion point will move down to the next line. Press Enter again. The insertion point will again move down creating a blank line. Type a paragraph of text. Do not press Enter. Just keep typing until you finish the paragraph. Word's text wrap feature will take care of moving the insertion point down to the next line when it is necessary. Continue typing text until your document is complete. Inserting text. Word begins in insert mode. This means that when you want to add new text in a document, simple place the insertion point where you want the new text to be added and to start typing. This is how you should do it. Click the mouse before the word in of the document where you want the new text to appear. The blinking insertion point will appear. Type any new word or words adding a space before or after as necessary. The new text will be inserted into the document. New text pushes the existing text to the right and keeps moving it over or down to make room for it. 
selecting text to move copy delete or to change the formatting of text select the text you want to edit it will appear as light type on a dark background on your screen the reverse of the unselected text remember you can select only a sequential block of text at a time not bits of text in different places the following procedure shows different selection techniques to select one word double click on the word to select a sentence hold down the control key and click anywhere on the sentence to select a single line of text click once in the left margin with the mouse arrow next to the line to be selected to select a block of text click at the beginning of the text hold the mouse button down and drag across the balance of the text to be selected to select the entire document press ctrl plus a or click edit and then click on select all deleting text you can delete and want a text a character a word a paragraph at a time or any combination of the above there are two common keys to delete text these are the backspace and delete keys pressing the backspace key will delete one character at a time to the left of the insertion point pressing the delete key will delete one character at a time to the right of the insertion point the procedure for deleting text is as follows select the text to be deleted the text will be highlighted press the delete key the text will be deleted an easy way to remember in which direction the backspace key will delete is to look at the arrow printed on the backspace key most keyboards the arrow points to the left indicating that is the direction in which the characters will be deleted moving text the features used to move text from one place to another are called cut and paste the original text is deleted and placed at the new location you should take the following steps for moving text number one select the text to be moved the text will be highlighted number two click on the cut button the text will be removed from the document and stored on the windows clipboard click the mouse where you want the text to be located the blinking insertion point will appear at this location click on the paste button the text will be placed at the new location Copying text. Copying text will leave the text in its original location while a copy of it is placed on the window clipboard. This is how you can do it. 1. Select the text to be copied. The text will be highlighted. Click on the copy button. The text will be stored on the windows clipboard. This text also remains at its original location. Click the mouse where you want the text to be located. The blinking insertion point will appear. Click on the paste button. The text will be placed at the new location. Bold, italic or underline. Sometime you need to change the text or a part of it to bold or italic. Sometime you want to underline the text. You may easily access these choices with the word toolbar. Select the text to be formatted. The text will be highlighted. Click on the appropriate toolbar button, either B for bold, I for italic, or U for underline, or any combination of these three. The formatting will be applied. Add bullets and numbers. 
you may quickly add bullets and numbers to existing line of text, or you may automatically create bulleted and numbered lists as you type. Uh, to add bullets and numbers, select the text you want to show bullets or numbers. B. Click one of the following buttons. Number 1. Add numbers. Number 2. Add bullets. The numbers or bullets will appear in the beginning of the selected text. Check spelling and grammar. We use automatic spelling and grammar for checking spelling and grammatical errors. As we type, the spelling and grammar, checker checks the text and then marks possible errors with red and green wavy underline, misspelled words in red and grammatical errors in green line. Number 1. To check spelling and grammar, Click the ABC button on the standard toolbar, 7th from the left. Number 2. The spelling and grammar check dialog box will appear if Word finds an error in your document. This area shows the misspelled word or grammatical error. This area shows the suggestions for correcting the text. Click the change button to correct the error in your document. Number 3. To skip the error and continue checking your document, click Ignore button. Number 4. After correcting or ignoring the spelling and grammatical errors this dialog box will appear, telling you the spelling and grammar check is complete. Click the OK button to close the dialog box. Saving text. This feature of Word will save the text or document with the name for future use. Complete your text or document. Click the Save button, on the toolbar, third from the left. Bring the mouse pointer here and click it. You should save it in some name so that you can ask the computer to bring it back when you want to work on it. After clicking on Save button, you will see a dialog box. At the bottom of the screen you will see a box, which is asking for the file name. Type the file name in file name text box, such as, I love my country. Click on the save button. The save dialog box disappears and you will see that the file name is on the title bar. If name is I love my country, the document will read as I love my country dark doc. Printing your work. When your data entry is complete, it is time to print your work. You can send it to your printer for a hard copy. Uh, printing with the print button. The fastest and easiest way to print is to use the print button included on the standard toolbar. This prints one copy of the entire file in most programs. Click on the print button. The document will print with standard option. B. Printing from the menu. If you would like more control over the printing of your document, use the print dialog box. Click on File. The file menu will appear. Click on Print. The print dialog box will open. Many options are available from the print dialog box. They vary somewhat among programs. Name if you are connected to more than one printer, you can choose which one to use for this print job. Click on the down arrow in the name drop down list box and make a selection. Print range, you can use pages of your document to print with the print range option. Number of copies, choose the number of copies to be printed by clicking on the up or down arrows at the right of the number of copies list box. Click on any desired option. The option will be activated. Click on OK button after you have made your selections. 
The file will be sent to the printer.